Now we have loaded the warehousing and logistics library into our class library, we can start building our first simple project. We first want to generate some specific components for our warehouse environments. For example, our storage racks. I make a copy of one of our default storage racks. I open it and a dialog appears and I can set its settings. I can choose my number of clusters and number of levels. For example here we have three clusters and each cluster has seven levels. On page dimension I can set all dimensions of our object. For each segment I can select its dimensions. And the same holds true for each level. Now all our characteristics for a storage rack are set. On top page 3D I can automatically create a 3D version of our object. Just hit the button create 3D. Now we see that there is a storage rack who corresponds exactly with the definitions that we put into our dialog box. With this storage rack I can start building the layout of our warehouse environment. We start a new project. Within a project we need a warehouse manager and we put in a site. The warehouse itself is placed inside the site. Because it's a multi-site, multi-warehouse simulation environment, we are able to simulate over multiple warehouses in multiple sites in just one model. Double-click the warehouse to open the warehouse dialog. And here we can also open the warehouse frame. In the 2D environment, the warehouse can be seen from top view. I can specify its dimensions on the page dimension. If you change from tab page you automatically see you automatically see that the dimension of the warehouse is adapted to the frame. The red lines are the default outside walls. Now we start by creating storage area. We create a new area and we give it a name. Select a number of aisles, a specific aisle length, a certain aisle width and optional if there are front and rear lanes. For now we did not select what type of storage that we want to use. That's what we are going to do on page storage. There we drag and drop or just designed single deep rack onto the input fields. If you hit OK we automatically creates a large portion of a warehouse environment. Now we can add an extra piece of storage area. We use the same settings as before, only the place where we insert 
or storage environments will differ. And we use again our same component. So now we can see we automatically have two storage areas in our warehousing layout.